bitch, we dying for that to house. We ain't even for the killer, bitch. My niggas kinda draw the top. We come through with SK and AK, so what the top is about? Close the case, knock off his fucking face, so close off fucking mouth, that murder talk. Up about that bitch, we dying for that to house. We ain't even for the killer, bitch. My niggas kinda draw the top. Come through with SK and AK, so what the top is about? Close the case, knock off his fucking face, so close off fucking mouth. What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm here with. EBG Park. Alright, so Paul, tell us where you from. Shit, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. I'm from the east side, you know, the airport and shit. Like, like, all my, like I, I leave it telling you and shit. Like, yeah. I'm my folks. I'm my folks. Like, we from the bricks and shit. But, like, you feel me? Yeah, he was saying when he moved here. That when we were born, like, like me and Brazil and all them. So, we were born on the airport and shit. Oh, okay. So, got ties out there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, oh, yeah, then I'm from the east side, then, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. What about uh, how long you been rapping? Yeah, I've been rapping since probably. Well, shit, I remember I made my first song in fifth grade, but I've been like like right to the rapping since I was thirteen. Like on um, G's, I remember the first time I made. I was in fifth grade. I was like, EBG with a different brand game. We about to do some shit. I said, and we about to shot the world like never before. I said, any business on me, come my chain swing. Everybody know that the whole one go. I was born in the motherfucking crack house. Dad was using and selling the dough. Yeah, you know a young nigga a crack baby. But we finna shit the world like never before. And my dad, I was 10 when I made this song. Damn. Hey, young. Hey, young nigga, all right? So what inspired you, though, to start rapping? That inspired me. All right, yeah. Oh right. shit, what up, my bro? <laughs> what up? That, that was shit, like, feel me? So, like, ever since I was little, like, he been doing, like, freestyles and the kind shit. So, like, I was always recording him. I was always the one recording him. Uh, either I'd just be watching him, like, if he record himself sometimes. I'd just be listening to him, cause, like, you know how I look boy else. I always want to be around their big brother and shit. So, right. feel me? I was always around my big brother. So, everything he was doing, I was just watching the shit. And I just picked up on that shit. Like, you feel me? Like, the baby had dropped that east side. And, you feel me? That way, it just went from now when he dropped that east side. Cause, cause, uh, you feel me? We had, uh, we had a black Draco. So then he was like, he was like, uh, they hated on me, but it's still all good. Draco on me, and it's still all wood. Then I kept on saying, they hated, they, they talked about me, and they did me down bad. Draco on me, and it's still all black. So, you feel me? I kept saying that shit around my other bit, bro. Yeah. He was like, you need to go and make that shit song, that shit fight. He just kept saying that shit fight, that shit fight. So, you feel me? I yeah. just made that, just freestyle that shit. Oh, Man, right. you feel me? I ain't even know it was gonna go viral like that. Cause, like, I, um, I had, like, I had made that shit, like, in, in the morning. Like, he had, my brother recorded me in the morning. Yeah. And, and I had went, I had went, like, I think I went to my own house. And then, like, when I came back, it was, like, 3 o'clock. And then I was like, that hoe hit a thousand views yet? He was like, hell no, nah, that's the one he hit. <laughs> I was like, damn. Then he then he shoved that hoe. He said, that hoe hit 6,000, bitch. And damn. Then I kept going up. My first rep, first day, that hoe hit 6,000. But that hoe like 35, 40,000, man. That's how I just knew, you feel me? I had the shit. Damn. Then, but I already know me and shit. What is shit crazy? Oh, all right. So you already got a fan base then? Yeah, hell yeah. It was for you young then. That's what's up, though. Before I started rapping, I already, you feel me, had a little type of fan base and shit. Alright. And I already know me and shit. Yeah. Who's selling? Shit. Lil Fat. Kodak. And shit. Lil Baby. That's about it, for real. Okay. Like, you feel me? Like, them little niggas I really listen to. Like, like, yeah, since I was little. That's all I've been listening to, Lil Fat. Yeah, since I was in the fifth grade, Lil Baby and shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, since I was in the fifth grade. Yeah. Kodak and shit. Yeah, since the sun grade, I've been listening to Lil Baby. Alright. So, uh, if it went for, if it went for Lil Baby shit, I wouldn't be rapping. <laughs> uh, so, how you promote yourself? Oh, yeah. No, it's just, I don't know, shit. Everybody, everybody already know me. So, you feel me? Oh, yeah. I just, I just, I just dropped their post, like, you feel me? I'm known for being fly and all that. So, mm -hmm. my pitch, like, they be going up. So, when I drop a song, shit, that bitch go up. But, like, I don't know. I just, like, keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. And then, make sure that bitch. On social media, like that. All right. So, what you think separates you, though, from other artists? Like, what separates me? Like, oh, um, it like, shit, like, I'm young, and I done, I done did a lot of shit, I done been through a lot of shit, and like, right. I'm so versatile, like, 
I can rob by so much shit, like, and I be hearing, like, all the niggas, like, I ain't throwing no sides and no tight shit like that, no lying tight shit like that, but, like, I be hearing niggas, like, stealing other niggas' flows, stealing other niggas' lyrics and tight shit like that, mm-hmm. but, like, it's just me also a real nigga, like, everything, everything I make a song about, like, that shit didn't happen, like, right. like, that shit probably been happening the same day, and I, I done made a song about it. Oh, for like, real, man. And then I ain't, I ain't shit but 15. Yeah. That's what that's what I feel like we've been just separating me from everybody else. Like, I'm just so different. Like ever since like ever since I've been growing up, everybody always say I got an old soul and stuff shit like that. Yeah. You feel me? Then like all my shit is real, all my shit got me behind on rapping about no bullshit. That's what I just feel like separating me from other So what you see yourself in two years? I see myself in two years. Let me see. Shit, I ain't gonna see it. I ain't I ain't gonna lie. I said I see myself blowing up next year. Next year. That's what's up, bro. Go ahead and speak and say existence, bro. Yeah, I feel like by by the second year, like, I'm gonna be kind of, like, established. Kind of, like, me and your views, me and your views, and in a month or a few months, I feel like I'm gonna be established. Oh, for real. So, uh, so would you rather be signed or independent? I mean, I ain't gonna, I don't know. I feel like everybody got to sign one day. But, see, I feel like, I feel right now, like in, in, in two years, in two years, hell no, nah, I ain't gonna be signed. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> shit, Fred O'Bain did not sign this shit. You yeah. see how Rich Homer Corn, he did not sign. Like, you see how successful them niggas were. All right. Yeah, niggas just be signing, signing for a chain and shit. And niggas don't even know what they be signing. Niggas be signing their life away. Signing three sister bills and shit. And I already, you feel me? I know my work. I feel like if we ain't come with at least five or ten million or more, I can't sign. Too. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, so what you normally do? You write your songs or freestyle? I I most like freestyle my shit like uh-huh. like feel me? I just like I don't know. I like freestyle some shit, but then I write it down so I won't forget <laughs> it. Like cause like I don't, I don't if I ain't at the studio, then I know to just write that shit down cause that shit be so fat and I yeah. don't want to forget. I know I ain't gonna remember cause like you see my freestyle a lot of shit, so I just turn it into songs. Like it just like. Depend on like shit that be happening and shit. Yeah. So I even get to thinking about some shit and I just make a song about like shit on blood. Like everything I make, this shit, like this shit been a happen. I don't mm. just, I don't be rapping about no bullshit. Yeah. And then like if I feel like I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, I need to make a turn up song. You feel me? I just like based it off some shit that in hell. Right. So what's your other favorite thing about doing shows? My favorite thing about. It just, I don't know, like, when I had performed at the party, like, I don't know, I guess my big part about it, they just singing this shit word for word, like, I ain't even gotta it. rock this shit, they just saying, like, that what pumped me up, like, you yeah. see other people fucking with your shit, you feel me, that what, that what made me fuck with me, right. like, like, long as, long as the fans like this shit, then, yeah, yeah. but, like, even, even if somebody don't fuck with some shit, like, I'm still doing my shit at the end of the day, you feel me, like somebody don't fuck with it. So what you think your greatest strength is, is a rapper? You say what my greatest strength is as a rapper? Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Probably just how quick that shit just be coming to me. Like, that shit just like, like sometimes when I be rapping, that shit be amazing. I mm-hmm. be playing my songs for my mama and shit. Shit be like, damn, like, like you made this shit. Be like, you sure, you sure ain't nobody wrote this. I was like, come on, mom. I was like... You know I ain't never even played like that. Like, yeah. Like, if you know me, you know I'm a straight, real, independent type of nigga. I don't want nobody doing nothing. Like, right. you feel me? my mama tell you, even, even since I was there, I never asked for help with my home or none of that type of shit. All right, all right. Like, it's the same way. Like, it's being like street type shit, the same way. Like, I don't never ask for nobody help. Because I feel like. Once you get the way you want to be, like somebody gonna feel like you owe them something or some type of shit like that. So right. you don't never answer nobody help. Yeah. And that's another thing I feel like like made me stand out from all these niggas. Like like they be trying to they be trying to have a little certain type of image. You feel me? Yeah. Anybody who know me know know what I'm on. You feel me? Yeah. Say, I don't gotta I don't gotta do all that all the time. I don't gotta you feel me? I don't gotta be talking all that gang shit, talking all that rah rah. Yeah. You know what I did, what I saw, what the all that shit. That what I feel like maybe different from a lot of these niggas. And like, I do like songs by myself and shit. Like, if it ain't with my family love song, like, I don't, I don't rap by myself or like no close partner I'm fuck with. Like, I don't do no dick around or none of that. That's why like, I feel like maybe stand out from all these niggas. 
Alright. Right. Uh, what other Birmingham artists you collab with? Um, shit. Uzella right here. Shit. I, um, Ozella, I don't be doing shit with nigga for real. Y'all Yeah. I seen no. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just family for like niggas who be in my circle. Like I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't uh, like I ain't, I ain't no no like fake shit, but like I ain't no no friendly shit. Yeah. Like, I do a song with a nigga or whatever, but like my folks just be saying like, don't do no free features, cause like. Cause like they know my word for well, but like I know my word too. But I'm just right. like they rap shit on me. So shit, when they want to do a feature, you can hit my line. But like as far as me going going out my way to ask a nigga for a feature, then shit, that ain't me. But like if I'm really fucking with somebody, then yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. Right. So what you feel your greatest accomplishment is so far? So far, I, I guess I can. Like so far, like so far. Mm-hmm. Um, shit. I don't know. I feel like my girls are me so far. <laughs> like staying stay relevant and shit. Like I barely drop music and, and mm-hmm. I'm still relevant. Like they still, like people still put me at their favorite Birmingham artists and their favorite top artists mm-hmm. and type shit like that. Oh yeah. So, uh, so if you could, uh, so if you could compare yourself to a rapper, or thank you similar to who would you say? I probably, um, no, I probably compare myself to shit. Probably the baby Kodak. Like, I really don't feel like getting no nigga I could be compared to, but like, Kodak, like, you feel me? Like, he did have money for that rap shit. Like, he just yeah. real. Like, that shit don't make him. Like, he bought that shit, but he ain't got to talk about it. And then, little baby, you feel me? He's just a, a hustler type nigga. He just cool and shit. Right. Like, that's how I just, uh, like, the money come first before all this shit. Like, the niggas who been had money before all the rap shit. Like, and who don't got to do all that, like, you just know a nigga bought that shit. That's who I compare myself to. Yeah. So, where can people find your music? Shit, YouTube, uh, shit, YouTube, what that shit called? SoundCloud, shit, Facebook, Instagram, all that type shit. I'm gonna drop some on, I'm gonna drop some on iTunes soon, though. Oh, okay. So, so what you normally doing your free time? So, I doing my free time, shit. <laughs> Get money. <laughs> Get money. Oh, you got shout-outs, bro. Shout out DBG, shout out Cartel, shout out everybody who fucked with me. Shout out to the fans. Listen to the video. I'm out. He out. You got one thing to say? Got it.